Okay, right, so, hi, um, my name is Jessica Howard, and it's been a month since the zombie outbreak. I've been here two days, and I think I found a pretty good spot. Um, I wasn't really thinking at the time, I just kind of ran into the first place that I saw, but uh, I haven't been outside. The house is nice, um, I think whoever lived here before had a pretty good life. Um, they just kind of left everything as it was. It was kind of creepy actually. I walked in and, you know, there's clothing on the table and food out. And it's just weird because you, you walk through these houses and it's like they're still there. The people who live there are still there, at least the memory of them. And it's, it's, quite, it's quite creepy, but you know, I was thriving before the, the power went out. But the last movie I actually watched was, uh, you know that really old movie, the Sonic movie that came out like 20 years ago? Uh, <laughs> it had like Jim Carrey in it. You know, I just finished watching that one and I just kind of felt, kind of felt sad. You know, because, because like Sonic's alone for uh, most of that movie and feeling pretty alone right now, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I, um, it's been two weeks now, <laughs> kind of starting to go a little crazy, you know, um, supply and food running, running a little low, um, and I've already bonded with all four of the cats, so they're not really on the table as far as snacks go at this point. I haven't really been sleeping either. Last night, actually, I had, you know those dreams that are, they're super vivid, and when you're in them, it almost feels real. I had one of those last night and it was it was about my uh, my sister Callie and it was just kind of like her face she was standing there and, and she was scared and it was one of the first moments before all of this happened and it got me thinking a lot about life like before <laughs> life before all of this and uh, and now I'm just kind of wondering if I even if I even really did anything like my last conversations with people were just they're stupid they're about stupid insignificant things you know and and I haven't I haven't done anything just like the people in this in this house. You know, like, I've been in this house now for two weeks, and I couldn't tell you these people's names, what they did, where they went, what were their goals. They have nothing. Nobody is going to remember them. I think that's part of the reason why I'm doing these videos, too, is not only because I need to talk to someone, because I'm fucking lonely here. And I just don't wanna be, you know, like forgotten like these people. I want somebody to know my name. It's not good. Alright, so, um, I think this is it, guys. This is probably gonna be the last video that you hear from me <laughs> because, uh, I spotted one this morning. Mm -hmm. 
down the street. So it's only a matter of time until they find me. But I did find something that could help me. Could also not help me. Not quite sure. It's uh, this thing. Um, it makes a light, so maybe that can distract them. And I can definitely hit things or zombies with it. So yeah, so I found this, I found this light sword stick thing and hopefully I'm gonna use it against the zombies and her back and even if nobody else remembers me at least I have memory of me and memory of everything that I've done okay um that's about all the uh ending of the video that you're gonna get because I have to now go kick some ass out from some zombies so Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to my imaginary channel.